Hello folks! Today we're going to take a look at the possibility of using an Android TV box as a computer. The prices on these things are pretty decent and the prices of a normal computer seem to continue to rise so I'm going to experiment and see if this thing would work as a daily driver. Let's start with a system update and see how fresh this is. It looks like we're in good shape. It is running Android 14 so that is the latest and greatest as far as I know so we should be ready to roll here let's uh, get signed in and we are on the network already let's try uh, getting an account put in Google of course it's a Google device uh oh well that didn't go so good maybe if we try it again I am, by the way, using a keyboard and mouse just to make the input a little bit simpler. This is on being captured from a TV, so my uh, clicking skills aren't always the best, but I'm trying to get there. Um, okay, looks like we're not going to get ourselves signed in quite yet. So maybe let's try something else. Let's try the Play Store. and um, well it's not looking too hot either okay well I'll put in a USB stick it does have two USB ports I've got it some local files um, well I don't see anything in here hmm typical Android but no USB stick Maybe it's over here? Nope. Okay, well, scratch that. Uh, VLC. That's always a pretty good choice for compatibility and ease of use. Maybe it's hidden here somewhere? Nope. So using external storage doesn't seem to work. Maybe with an on-the-go cable, but I don't know of any each uh, USB A to A cables that would work for on the go. Uh, that little glitch was me trying to tie it with a USB stick plugged in, so it looks like I'll have to unhook that to be able to type correctly, so it actually messed up the other USB port. Uh, we are getting somewhere here with Google Play. Looks like they're pretty much all multimedia apps. I don't see any games or anything else like that productivity pretty much what you would get on a smart TV but we'll keep looking uh, my attempt to click the search button doesn't seem to be doing much looks like I'll have to figure out the keyboard shortcuts but hey at least it opened Google Play is is nice uh, I did notice there's the ability to sideload apps, but we're not going to do that in this because we're trying to take it from the point of view of a pretty normal normal user, so we won't be doing any hacking in this video. Although I'm sure with enough trying, it could get it to do just about anything. But um, let's try a benchmark. Let's run Geekbench. And, um, uh-oh, looks like it's not available on this device. So the firmware is not reporting a standard version of Android, which I guess makes sense. It's Android TV, but you'd think that some of the more generic apps would work, but apparently that's not the case here. So, um, well, Passmark. It says it was compatible with Android when I researched it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, I guess we're not going to be able to do any testing on the abilities of this machine so I guess let's just try if I could type to search any benchmark and see what comes up Google Play come on baby hey well at least we can get the information for the CPU let's give that a shot let's make sure Google Play can even install and there we go and by the way, behind the scenes, I did finally manage to get signed in. I do have a, a Gmail account that it's linked to, so 
that's how we're able to get to this point. And there it goes. Just kind of let it run at full uh, real time to let you see the performance. Not too bad. Pretty much everything you do is going to be dependent on your internet speed, though, unfortunately. Um, but there we go. It is, in fact, an 8-core processor. This is an all-winner H728. So that's reporting correctly. It does have level 1, 2, and 3 caches. One per core except for level 3, so that's decent. At least its setup is a relatively snappy machine. The uh, GPU there does support Vulkan, so that's not too bad. Um, Mali looks like G57 for the GPU. There's the 4 gigs of RAM that I was told it would have, and it does. Uh, storage actually 64 gigs is what I was told, but it looks like that's reporting something a little bit larger. Uh, screen is 320 DPI, so yeah, okay. Uh, my capture device is only 1080p at 60, so well, even though I'm able to pump 4K through it in pass through, I am, like I say, only capturing 1080p. Temperature looks pretty decent. Uh, 47, 48, it's not running too hot, so that's decent. Let's try a 4K video and see how I can handle that since it looks like we're going to be doing mostly media on this thing, unfortunately. But I'm um, leaving it here in real time so you get an idea of the buffering and the loading time. Not on the world's fastest connection, but decent. Uh, any artifacting you see here would be from the capture device. On my end, it actually looked real good. And like I say, it was running NATO 4K through to the output that I was looking at. And as far as I can tell, it actually handled that quite well. It seems to be processing that video pretty good. Uh, a lot of these Android boxes are claiming now 8K, but I'm not so sure about that. This is HDR and also looks pretty good. The dynamic range looks nice. The colors look good. So... I'd say just for generic media consumption, it's actually holding its own pretty well. Uh, there again, that dynamic range looks nice, so I don't think watching something on Netflix or YouTube would be terrible. Here's me playing a wave file just to see if I can handle a high resolution wave. And pardon the skipping, it's trying to beat the contact monster, but it looks all right. Uh, this would be the home screen. And it looks like it's again going to be just focused on media consumption. There's some apps trying to load, but they're all pretty much, again, the broadcast services or whatever the proper term is nowadays for selling you channels that kind of used to be mostly free on the television. But um, looks like the loading speed isn't phenomenal. I'm um, trying to click shop here to see what that brings up, but <laughs> unfortunately the mouse won't click on it. So I have to figure out the keyboard shortcuts to get over there, which I will eventually. But um, well, there we go. Use the right arrow on the keyboard. And what does shop do? Can you buy stuff? eBay? No. Looks like. Uh, top selling movies yep they're trying to sell you more media uh, eh, great but again this is trying to treat this like a computer so I don't think that's really gonna fill the bill uh, apps oh well unfortunately it looks again like just strictly multimedia apps which uh, great, but that's not what I need a computer for all day. I can probably find even cheaper ways to do that. Let's try to get some work done. Let's try Google Docs. Um, uh-oh. Well, looks like even Google doesn't support Google on Google, which is no good. So, oh, well, looks like some of the multimedia stuff has started to populate so it is definitely just trying to sell you movies and games or pretty much even games or uh, movies let's try Google Docs just going to the website yeah that browser looks kind of funky um, doesn't look like the last time I saw Google Docs um, hmm and this is using Chrome so it should be as compatible with Google as you can get, or Alphabet if you want to be technical, because that's the parent company of Google. 
and um, well, maybe it's because Android 14 is pretty new. Mm, no, October 4th, 2023, so that's been a couple years now that they've had to fix it. Maybe I just don't know the keyboard. Oh, wait, search button. Hmm, I wonder which one that is. I'm using a standard keyboard. Okay, well, uh, air screen. That looks promising. Okay, well, at least that seems decent. Airplay, uh, Miracast, and DLNA. So, consume from other devices, okay. Uh, let's try using Google to find an app. Hmm, no, device not compatible. Hmm, well, okay. Well, 3D Mark? Thought it was Windows, but hey, it shows up in the apps list. Uh, device isn't compatible. Well, that's another bummer. So, I'm afraid this experiment's kind of not going good. Maybe I don't understand the Android well enough, but I'd say that for the average user, you're going to kind of have a hard time like myself. You're going to probably find it's more challenging than it's really worth. Um, so, I'm afraid I have to say that this experiment was a failure. And um, thanks for watching. Enjoy your day.